Sean Porter, Tim Zoo, Sebastian Fondora. Thoughts on this one? Uh, a fun fight, man. This is a fight that uh, I didn't anticipate. I thought we were going to see Keith Thurman. Um, nice little switch up here. I, I think Keith, I think Tim is going to be prepared for it. Um, no big adjustments in my personal opinion that, that need to be made. Um, so I'm just excited to see who he is now in America against, uh, you know, a, a force, someone who's, who's big and, you know, and, and not afraid to use all, all of what he's got, you know. Now you were kick, uh, t uh, tipping Keith Thurman. Uh, what are you tipping? What did now? you guys feel like? How did you guys feel <laughs> when you heard? Yeah, you know, I, I didn't consider that. You know, eventually I have to see all of my friends from Australia, and they're going to be mad at me. You know how? What did you guys think? You a little know? bit of backlash. Yeah, yeah. You guys were like, what the hell? I thought he was with us. Uh, you know? But is is it a tougher fight given some uh, Sebastian's height in this fight? I I think that Sebastian Fundora is an easier fight. I think that his style predicates this fight being easier. I thought Keith Thurman was the harder fight because he's more versatile, can do a lot more things in the ring at any given time, and on top of that, explosive with power. You know, so um, you're not gonna have to find Sebastian. You know, you're not gonna have to wonder what's coming. You know, uh, he's, he's not He's not, not gonna make you think. You know, the thing you do have to do is find your time, your timing and your patience within everything that's going on. But overall, I think this is the easier fight. What do you make of the evolution of Tim Zhu? He looks like he's, you know, in his own up there. He's, he's Love loving it. the moment. Love it, man. That was really my second time coming over there, seeing him, seeing him mature and just seeing the way he was moving. And even, you know, I'm, 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 I pay attention. So I asked people when uh, the first time I came over there against, uh, against um, Tony Harrison, and he pulls up in the truck, and I was like, <laughs> I asked him, I say, hey, a year ago, would that would he have done that? No, he would never have done that a year ago. You know, so I've really seen him mature. I love it. I think that this fight is perfect timing for him. Spence said that uh, he wants the winner of this fight. What would you make of that? I love it. I would love to see T Spence back in the ring against uh, Tim Zhu, uh, F Sebastian Fundora, either or. It doesn't matter. Crawford's supposed to be uh, the mandatory, though. Yeah. Um, how's that all? How's that all play out? That's a little bit more trouble, I think, than anybody wants right now for Tim Zoo. That, that's that's the cream of the crop, and that's some cream you ain't never seen before. <laughs> will, will Tim get some backlash if he elects the Spence fight as opposed to Crawford? He better think? not. He's still, I mean, you take it on Errol Smith Jr. Mm. Only been beat once, right? I mean, that's the next best thing, you know what I mean? You know, So he shouldn't get any, any, uh, any backlash, and I think that... Uh, if I was him, that would be the order of operation. Take out the guy, and then you take out the the next guy. You know what I mean? So um, you still got to remember he's still young in his career as a professional fighter. He's still This is his second time fighting over here. Big stage. Terrence Crawford's the biggest stage. You want to take, even now, you still got to take some steps. What's Crawford do if he doesn't get the team fight? I don't know what Crawford's going to do. I, it's seeming like he really wants to Crawford fight. Or excuse me, it's seeming like he really wants the winner of this fight right here. So... We'll see what happens. Legend. Thank you so much, man. Always, man.